editor, uh, both editors of the French and of the English part of the Christ, they talked about Harry Hay. Yes, go on. Today, what would you say to a young gay or lesbian person anywhere in the world about the danger still of coming out and the importance of coming out? It's just... I need you to look at me. It's just, it's, oh, sorry. Yeah. It's just as important as it is dangerous. And you have to find out uh, if the danger is bigger than the importance of coming out. And coming out actually uh, comes after going in. Going in means the acceptance of yourself being gay. And this is a hard task to do, which costs quite a long time also because you you start with it when you're about 13 or 12 and you don't finish it uh, before you're 24 or so and um, then you can afterwards all side by side uh, parallel to it you can also do your coming out if um, your surrounding um, is uh, willing to hear and to take you for serious. But if you're not accepted at all, then it's not advisable One to One of the out. things that seemed so important in the beginning of, of the club was community. Yes. Uh, even in secret, right. but community, right. that one was not alone. Right. Uh, and yes. when you first went there, what motivated you to join? Um, I was more or less um, thrown into because because um, when I found out I was gay, uh, I always thought I'm the only one. I didn't even know a name to it. So I went to to the library of my father and looked through lexicon lexicons and. Uh, Finally, I found the word homosexuality um, among um, medicine and among um, um, what is it? Perversions. Yes. And under perversions was in was written uh, homosexually. And then immediately I said to myself, I was about 13 then, and I said, this is not true. Those people, learned people who wrote this, they do not know what they write about. I know by myself that this is part of my nature. And it has nothing to do with illness nor with perversion or nothing at all. So um, I, I knew the, the name, I knew the the name um, yes. homosexuality and I knew this is, a, uh, this is a word you would never ever use because it, 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 gives, you, um, it gives you a sign which is wrong. I have one other question to ask you because there are other people waiting yes. to talk to you. You've been married, you've been together for, 50, for 58 years. Yes. I think that maybe this gay couple may have something to say to heterosexual couples. How did you do it? This is actually very, very simple. First of all, you love your partner. And by loving your partner, you don't want to change your partner. Your partner is equal to you and is not any sort of uh, like an Alfa Romeo before the house, which is, which, which, which is a, a precious stone in your own crown. This is absolutely wrong and this is perverted. And, but you love, and you love the other. And then you want to, to, to see that he may develop himself and you help him develop him after his own way and to respect the other person always. You know, you love somebody means you respect him. 
I mean, you, and this respect goes for, before everything else. Robbie said exactly the same thing when I asked him this question. Ah, well. So the so the key is to let the other person be who they are and to respect and encourage their development by loving them completely. Yes. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Right. Right, thank Absolutely. you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. So we're just going to bring you over.